I love these kind of random hauls, just random stuff. You're not really sure what the person's going to bring out next, you know. I already have a lot of Kiko makeup, so I will just slide into my collection seamlessly. And I like that there was a little mermaid <laughs> on there. I love the packaging. I think they did a great job with the packaging. It's actually little squares and not lines, but I don't mind that. I can still keep it quite neat. evening I have a casual unboxing for you. So I went to another um, kind of discount shop. They have a good few kind of shops like that over here. They have uh, Action, Jiffy, um, and this one is Noz, N-O-Z. Um, and they're kind of good if you don't go too much, because if you go too regularly, nothing changes too much and, you know, there's a lot of junk in between the good stuff, so I like to go like once every couple of months or something, so you've probably seen some hauls from the other shops and maybe knows too, I think I have, uh, yeah, I got my Simpsons Pops from there, please excuse the dog outside. <laughs> As I said, this is a casual unboxing, so I'm going to try not to um, remove and cut out, for example, car sounds and dog sounds and stuff like that. So I hope you still find this very relaxing. So I have a few different things that I got that are not linked in any way because it's really one of those shops where they have everything. And it's kind of like discount stuff, like stuff that didn't sell in certain shops that get moved to there, like, you know, like Stokumani and things like that. So, what will I start with? Let's start with the beauty section. I got three things from the beauty section. The first thing that I got, I was very happy about because I love Kiko. It's this little Kiko palette. It's a smart blush and bronzer palette a palette for a pool of bronzer and blush and bronzer, blush and bronzer. Uh, let me open it up so it looks pretty general Kiko you know the packaging is the same I know the smart collection um, and this is Smart 01, so it's the lightest version, which is good for me. And I'm just going to cover the mirror so you guys don't get lights flashed in your eyes. And look at that, I actually really like it because this bronzer is completely matte. Look at that. So I could probably use this as a contour if I wanted. And the blush is kind of a little light, a little pinky. Um, I'll have to see how it is on the skin. Let me actually just do a little swatch. I know blush is not like... You can't really swatch it and see what it'll look like, but it does look a little powdery, actually, the blush. but. Once it's on the cheeks, when you're made up and stuff, it might not look like that. And the bronzer is not at all orange, so that's cool. It might be subtle enough to use as a contour, too. Yeah, I'm happy about that. I already have a lot of Kiko makeup, so I will just slide into my collection seamlessly. Okay, so the other two things that I got the beauty section is something that I already have one of and I love. It's Colab Dry Shampoo. Um, so this is Candy, which is the why well, there are lollipops and it's the fragrance is Candy. Amazing oil absorption without white residue. It is actually a really good dry shampoo. And this 
is um it was sorry or is 199 one euro 99 so i got another one which i've never tried before it is a fresh fragrance i figured that it would be just as good product wise but i guess this the smell the fragrance will just be different i'm more like drawn to the kind of sweet smells but fresh fresh is always good and i like that there was a little mermaid <laughs> on there i love the packaging i think they did a great job with the packaging and this is actually a product that if i remember correctly yeah uh ruth crilly who is um a blogger and a vlogger she makes uh, youtube videos she's a model i think it's a model recommends her channel i, I like her so i'm happy that her product is good and I'm happy that, well, I hope it's working for her because I guess this was like a discount shop so hopefully it was just a one-off but yeah, I would really recommend this one I guess product-wise I'll probably recommend this one but you'll have to check the smell for yourself <laughs> okay so that was all the beauty items I got next I got a little bit of food related items I got one two it's not finished three can you tell I like these four four boxes <laughs> of nature valley sweet and salty nut chocolat noir et mélange de noix pure chocolate um, so it's kind of like just cereal bars with dark chocolate and it is sweet and salty I like um, sweet and salty together and these are the bars that I love um, in two different situations I guess breakfast when I don't have time and when we're out walking, like hill walking and stuff like that this is my preferred um, snack stop snack so these were only one euro and nine cents for a pack in the supermarket they're like two to three euros so that's pretty good and I know that I'm going to buy these again and again so I figured I would check the date and I remember it being far enough November and we are in August so I have a few months to eat 20 bars I think I can do it <laughs> okay so that's the only actual food item that I got I guess I did get a few food items um, a few more the last time I went to Nas just because it was like they had um, mango chutney and stuff like that but I still have some so I didn't get that let's move on to ah oh, yes i got some really well priced and very heavy block notes so college block a4 and it's basically just so that i can write vocabulary down during my um my lessons so basically my lessons are one hour face to face one on one and it's kind of personalized for each person because everybody has a different level different job different needs and stuff so I will make notes during the full hour and then give the notes to the student at the end I mean the students can make their own notes as well but uh, I prefer to do that so they have the correct spellings for or like when I write down a verb I'll also write it in the past tense and stuff just so they they have like a good solid base and there are many of them like how many are there actually 10 so 10 of these will last me a while I usually go through one quite large notebook in a month so yeah can go pretty quick so this 
should keep me going for a while. It's actually little squares and not lines, but I don't mind that. I can still keep it quite neat. And it's green, which I guess means it's probably partly, if not all, recycled. Approved by format versus more than simple paper. I'm looking around to see if there's any sort of recycled part to this. Why it would have like green written on the front. Or is it just like marketing to make it look like it was recycled or something? I don't know. Anyway, it was a good deal. Six euros, five nights. For all of this. Usually I pay like about two to three euros for one, so I'm happy with that. So keeping with the paper theme, I'm gonna go on to books. Well, actually comics. This um, little comic here. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, so it's um it's called Gribi, I guess. I, don't, I didn't know, well, I don't know really much about this comic. There was um, one, two, three, four, and five, and there was only one, two, and five left. So I was kind of disappointed because it looks really good, and I, I don't know, I think I would have bought all five if they were there, but buying one, two, and five is kind of strange. I figured I would just buy one and two, if I like it, I'll go ahead and buy the others, like, full price, but it was just a shame. They were only one ninety nine, and usually comics like this are usually between, like, I don't know, 10 and 15 girls, so I was happy. I looked up on my phone if it was uh, well rated, and it was, so I don't know why they ended up in this shop, but I was happy. So basically, it's about this little baby boy. I don't know if you can see him. I'll bring it up closer. How cute is he? He's got this little, he's got little jeans, little red hoodie, and a little dummy. And his friend is a little rat with a striped top. And basically, he's not scared of anything. And he goes and gets himself into monstrous and creepy situations. But he's looking pretty kick-ass. So yeah, I don't know. It looks. <laughs> It looks funny, and he looks really cute. Um, I don't know, I guess it's just, it was just one of those things that I just thought, oh, that's really cool. I have no idea if it's going to be good, but it just looked really cute. I like the concept of this little kick-ass baby guy. So I've got the first one and the second one. I don't know if it, is it like a French thing, or is it like, um, has it been translated into French? Do any of you guys know this comic series? Um, La nuit quand les gens dorment, un monde s'agite dans l'ombre. At night when people are sleeping, um, a world moves in the shadows. Ooh, creepy. What does it say on the back of this one? The same thing, but it has déjà paru. So the first two are written. So I know there's at least five of them. But yeah. So I'm excited about this. And I think my partner will probably read them too. Just to check them out. I hope they're good. I really, really hope they're good. So yeah. I was happy to find comics. Okay. Um, sticking with the book theme. I got some lovely books for my son. And I got a set of one. Six, seven of them. And they are these little kind of musical slash sound books. So, écoute, listen. Petit livre à écouter. Little book to listen to. Um, and basically, they have different themes. Like this is l'hiver, which is winter. You can see on the back, there's like a little, little holes for the speaker. Um, this one is la nuit, so the night. And inside each uh, page, or double page, I would say more, has a little, little kind of little button to push. Well, it's not really a button, it's like a, a little thing to put your finger over. 
sans un qui ulule sous les étoiles who, who, who is hooting under the stars la chouette sort sa branche ou le cerf qui sort du bois is it the owl on the branch or the um, cerf the deer that is coming out of the woods so then I guess you listen to the sound and then you see who it is who's making the noise and this is like between the cat le chat le choix à des rois des vagabonds ou le grillon qui crie grillon I don't know what grillon is the bat wolf lots of different things and I think they're really beautifully illustrated aren't they cute and the last page is a three pages with all of the animals on there. Retrouve et écoutez sur la grande page. So you have to find them on this big page and listen to them all. So that was the night. Then we have les petites bêtes, the little um, bugs. So we've got lots of little bugs in here. So we've got lots of different little bugs. I think they're really well illustrated. This is the le concert, so musical instruments. We have a trumpet, some drums, different, different things. Les véhicules de la ville, so vehicles in town. We have les oiseaux, the birds. That's going to be cool too. You'll hear the sounds of different birds. And then the last one is Les animaux rigolos Funny animals I wonder what they have in here They have fox, squirrel Frog, hedgehog hmm, I don't know what's funny about them Anyway They look really cool I like them I tested some of them in the shop best thing about these is if you look on the back all the ones that I have bought have not had the little tester strip removed so they are all completely intact and the batteries have not been used at all so um, $3.99 for each book but let me check how much are they usually $10.95 so that's an amazing amazing deal so I got seven them. I got, in fact, I got as many of them as I could. I got seven. <laughs> I don't know how many of them there actually are in general, but seven is pretty good. I think he's got enough books to keep him going. <laughs> and to listen to all the different sounds. I think he's gonna like that a lot. Anything that makes noise he loves anyway. And the last thing I have to show you is kind of special because it's one thing but it's something that I bought specifically to do an unboxing video so I'm going to show you something that later on I'm going to do a video of unboxing them so and because it was the la well because I bought the last six of them um, the woman behind the till just kind of gave me it with the box so it's kind of cool for the unboxing so I can make some nice tapping sounds with the box too so it's The Walking Dead vinyl figures and it's in memoriam so what I have understood by that is that all of the figures all of the characters in these mystery minis are dead in the series or, or have already died in the series at what point in the series they had already died I'm not sure um, I'm not that up on my walking dead I still have like about a series and a half to catch up on so I doubt that um, I've missed too much these were probably out before that so they were $2.99 each and I got six of them 
and I was really happy because it would make a lovely video unboxing six mystery minis. Pretty cool. Let's have a look what they look like. So that's the box. So I can recognize, I mean there's like very obvious <laughs> people like there and there obviously. But um, yeah, I won't spoil any more about this because I'm going to do a full long mystery unboxing with lots of cardboard tapping at some point, so oh, did I say they're Funko? they're Funko made, so yeah very, very happy with that find and actually it's the last thing that I have to show you for this evening so I'll leave it on that note, the note of a promise of another video, which is a good place to finish. So I hope that you found this video relaxing or interesting. You like the sounds. It's a very casual video. I love these kind of random hauls, just random stuff. You're not really sure what the person's going to bring out next, you know? Like, uh, often it feels kind of like those Amazon hauls, you know? Where it's just like lots of random stuff. I love that. Okay. So I hope that you are relaxed, nice and calm, sleepy. Have a lovely evening, and I'll see you next time.